A man did everything right to safeguard his prized pickup truck from thieves. Had a camera installed, a tracking system, and parked it in what he thought was a safe spot. But like so many people who get video of the crooks who victimize him, he is left frustrated by the lack of results. That truck is still missing. Jamie Leary tonight at the Radisson Hotel where it was stolen. Jamie, we see a lot of videos on social media, but rarely do the cops solve these crimes. And this is a pretty unique angle, pretty clear. That's what's frustrating. Brian Olson, he thought he did everything right. He had that camera installed. He parked it right here underneath a light like this, a well-lit area right outside of the hotel room. His truck was still stolen. Denver police are still trying to find it. The most frustrating part is that he has such crystal clear video of the theft in action. It seems effortless. As one car waits nearby, this man quickly rummages through the center console before shouting to his accomplice. Go. Go. And with that, he takes off. I honestly thought it was a joke. Olson woke I up to find his 2016 Ford F-250 gone. There was one ray of hope, an alert sent to his phone from the camera inside his truck. Someone had entered my truck at 4.40 a.m. and then the video was there of him. As much as he didn't want to see, he pressed play. Seeing it happen and seeing his face, honestly, it was devastating. It was just, I was kind of, kind of in shock for a minute. The security camera called OWL tracked the vehicle to a location in North Glen. I had hoped that it was going to be found pretty fast. Olson told police immediately, but by 3 p.m. the next day, the company told Olson the camera was down. The 30-year-old works seven days a week out of his truck. He is now out $11,000 worth of work equipment. We live in our trucks. Losing all of that stuff is, I guess, knowing that I have a face to put with that. The camera was worth it to capture the face. If it doesn't get his car back, he hopes at least it stops this thief. I want to see it back, but I'd rather push to find him so that this doesn't happen to anybody else. And it was about five minutes ago that I ran into a Denver police officer in this parking lot investigating another stolen vehicle. He told me within the city limits at least, they get back about 80% of their steal. So hopefully Brandon's truck is one of those. If you have any information, you're asked to contact Denver police. Live in Denver, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. Thank you, Jamie.